I was so happy you got fucking hung around with you guys for a minute last night. I was so happy. Other than that, it's not. It's up to you. I'm not making decisions. I don't care. For you. Okay. Just, you want to start just be coherent this time. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I'm going the wrong direction. Here we are. No kidding. Wait, let me start. Let me start. Because <laughs> you, you, uh, you read the last chapter of Blasphemy. Remember that recording? Yeah. That's I'm online. I thought, I thought I could die after I recorded that. Because that was the perfect reality. Of you can't know. <coughs> once you know the destination, there's no point to, to it. Because you already know it. It's, it's the oneness in a different way. So this is also the oneness. Also. But you would call it being a unity. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, that came from, I, I didn't make that up, that came from my friend Carol. She was here a couple, last okay. summer. And so she was, she was listening to us talk, and she said, oh, <laughs> you guys sound like Unitex. And, and, and I said, I'd never heard the word, but I glommed onto it, like, you know, people are just fanatics about the unity. Right. Brother John wants to hear you. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, this is... <clears throat> okay, you were on, you were on, you ready? The name of this is the egg. And whoever Andy Weir is, it's got to be good or David wouldn't be doing this. Okay. You were, you were on your way home when you died. It was a car accident. Nothing particularly remarkable, but fatal nonetheless. You left behind a wife and two kid, children. It was a painless death. The EMTs tried their best to save you, but to no avail. Your body was so utterly shattered, you were better off. Trust me. And that's when you met me. What? What happened? You asked. Where am I? You died. I said, matter of factly. No point in mincing words. There was a truck and it was skidding and uh, yep, I said. I died. I died. Yep. But don't feel bad about it. Everyone dies, I said. You looked around. There was nothingness. Just you and me. What is this place? You ask. Is this the afterlife? More or less, I said. Are you God? You ask. Yep, I replied. I'm God. My kids, my wife, you said. What about them? Will they be all right? That's, that's what I like to see. Now, let me get going down here. Where's my little frimus? I'm going the wrong direction. I, I get backwards. Okay. That's what I like to see. You just died, and your main concern is for your family. That's good stuff right there. You looked at me with fascination. To you, I didn't look like God. I just looked like some man or possibly a woman, some vague authority figure, maybe. More of a grammar school teacher than the Almighty. Don't worry, I said. They'll be fine. Your kids will remember you as perfect in every way. They didn't have time to grow up to grow contempt for you. Your wife will cry on the outside, but we will be secretly relieved. To be fair, your marriage was falling apart. If it's any consolation, she'll very, feel very guilty for feeling relieved. Oh, you said. Hmm, so what happens now? Do I go to heaven or hell or something? Neither, I said. You'll be reincarnated. Ah! You said, so the Hindus were right. All religions are right in their own way, I said. Walk with me. You followed along as we strode through the void. Where are we going? Nowhere in particular, I said. It's just nice to walk while we talk. So what's the point then, you ask? When I get reborn, I'll be just a blank slate, right? A baby. So all my experiences and everything I did in this life won't matter. Not so. Oh, I just moved it. Okay, where am I? I did the wrong thing again. I've got to get this right. Okay. You followed along as we strode through the void. Where are we going? Nowhere in particular. So what is the point then, you ask? When I get reborn, I'll just be a blank slate, right? A baby. So all my experience and everything I did in this life won't matter. Not so, I said. You have within you all the knowledge and experiences of all your past lives. You just don't remember them right now. Right on. I stopped walking yes, it's real. and took you by the shoulders. Your soul is more magnificent, beautiful, and gigantic than you can possibly imagine. 
A human mind can only contain a tiny fraction of what you are. It's like sticking your finger in a glass of water to see if it's hot or cold. You put a tiny part of yourself into the vessel, and when you bring it back out, you've gained all the experience, experiences it had had. <coughs> you've been in a human for the last 48 years, so you haven't stretched out yet and felt the rest of your immense consciousness. If we hung out here long enough, you'd start remembering everything, but there's no point to doing that between each life. How many times have I been reincarnated then? Oh, lots, lots and lots. And, and to lots and lots of different lives, I said. This time around, you'll be a Chinese peasant girl in 540 A.D. Wait, what, what, no, no you stammered. You're sending me back in time? Well, I guess technically, time as you know it only exists in your universe. Things are different where I come from. Where you come from, you said? Oh, sure, I explained. I, I come from somewhere, uh, somewhere else. And there are others like me. I know you want to know about what it's like there, but honestly, you wouldn't understand. Oh, you said, a little let down. But wait, if I get reincarnated to, to other places in time, I could have interacted with myself at some point. Uh, i got to get this. No, i got to go up to go down. That's it. Very good, Robbie. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I got it backwards again. <laughs> very no, good. Very, very good. Yeah. This is the reading. Down is down. I've got to write this. Okay. All right. I think I made it to other places in the time. It's already there. I have interacted with myself at some point. Sure. Happens all the time. With both lives only aware of their own lifespan, you don't even know what's happening. So what's the point of it all? Seriously, I ask? Seriously? You're asking me for the meaning of life? Isn't that a little stereotypical? I love it. A stereotypical, I have to say. So. Well, well it's a reasonable question, you persisted. I looked you in the eye. The meaning of life, the reason I made this whole universe, is for you to mature. You mean mankind? You want us to mature? No, no, just you. I made this whole universe for you. With each new life, you grow and mature and become a larger and greater intellect. Just me? What about everyone else? There is no one else, I said. In this universe, there's just you and me. You stared blankly at me. But all the people on Earth, all you, all different incarnations of you, Wait, I'm everyone? Now you're getting it. I love this guy. Now you're getting it. I'm going the right direction. No, I'm not. <laughs> Just go the other way. You can't be out. What's happening? <laughs> He's like, what's happening? <laughs> I started going without me doing anything. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> there's no one else. I this We're not even drunk yet. That's so funny. <laughs> you stared blankly at me. But of all the people on earth, all you, different incarnations, you, well, I'm everyone. I'm everyone? Now you're getting it. I said with a congratulatory slap on the back. I'm every human being who ever lived, or who will ever live. Yep. I'm Abraham Lincoln, and you're John Wilkes Booth, too, I added. I'm Hitler, you said, appalled. And you're the millions he killed. I'm Jesus, and you're everyone who followed him. Then you fell silent. What? Every time you victimize someone, I said, you were Whoa. victimizing yourself. Every act of kindness you've done, you've done to yourself. Uh -huh. Every happy and sad moment ever experienced by any human was or will be experienced by you. You thought for a long time. Why, you ask me, why do all this? Because someday you will become like me. Because that's what you are. You're one of my kind. You're my child. Whoa, you said, incredulous. You mean I'm a god? No, not yet. You're a fetus. <laughs> You're still growing. Once you've lived every human life throughout all time, you'll have grown enough to be born. So the whole universe you said is just an egg, I answered. Now it's time for you to move on to your next lifetime, and I sent you back on your way. Wow.
Thank you. Let's cheers. Whoops. Thank you for sharing. That's really neat. Oh, who said that? Thanks for there? sharing. That's really neat. That's really neat. I like well, that. Isn't it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see it scroll down. <laughs> that would have been a problem. Or up. <laughs> or up. Scroll down or up. Brother John works perfectly with this. He knows it.